Today we're taking a look at the Adapt Plus from Bear Archery in collaboration with the hunting public. Welcome back to Mike's Archery and we are taking a look at a mid-year introduction from Bear Archery. They've given us a new version of the Adapt bow that came out last year about this time. It's the new Adapt Plus. Now there's no real change to the bow specifically, so we're not going to go through the full spec list on this bow. We'll just allow you to head over to the original video. We'll put a link in here so you can check it out if you want to see all the spec breakdown, all of that. And we'll also throw on the end of this the shooting portion of the original Adapt bow. So since the bow is basically exactly the same, the biggest differences is in the package. The plus part is an upgraded accessory package from Bear with much better accessories as well as a new color. So you can see that it's coming in mossy oak bottom land and that is going to be one of the major changes for the Adapt Plus is the color option. The Adapt Plus is only going to come in the mossy oak bottom land so if you're looking for this package, you're not going to be able to get it in any other color options. So mostly we want to be able to focus on the accessory package and the upgrades that they put on this new bow. So outside of the color on the bow, they also upgraded to this cool looking set of THP colored strings with a fluorescent yellow and brown. Gives it a nice pop. Now the upgraded sight on this bow is going to be the Trophy Ridge Hot Wire. Now this is a higher end sight coming in with a full micro adjustability on your gang adjustments up and down. Also micro adjust on the pins and then it also has that three pin floater. So you've got your two pins that are fixed at the top and then the three pin at the bottom. You're going to be able to drive that pin down individually allowing you to get out to longer distance shooting if necessary. Kind of replicates what you see on some of the more expensive sites with a dial option but it's just moving that single pin inside the housing. That is going to be about $150 value added to this package with that upgraded site. The other upgrade that they did was a 6 inch Hitman stabilizer. It does come with a full quick disconnect so you're going to be able to take that stabilizer off and on real quick and easy to make it fit in your case or if you need to change things out. It's just a nice quick couple of turns, pops off of there, and gives you a higher end stabilizer than their base package stabilizer that they put on most of their bows. The other upgrade you're going to see on here is going to be the roller slide. So rather than keeping with their traditional plastic cable slide on there, they've upgraded this bow to a roller slide, which is going to give a much smoother feel coming through the draw cycle, but it also is going to eliminate some cable wear that you may have seen on some of the lower end models. It also allows it to sit away from the cable rod a little further, taking a little bit more torque off of the cams. Outside of that, the package is very similar to what you've seen in any of the other RTH packages from Bear, still coming with the new V-Biscuit, as well as a standard five-spot black quiver, and it's also gonna have that Bear Paw Grip, which was something they introduced new last year on the Adapt Bow. It is one of probably our favorite grips that Bear has put out, and it's a great feeling grip. That's still standard on this bow, and you're also able to use a limb stop on the cam. So if you're that guy that likes the rock solid back wall, you can still put a limb stop on this bow that's coming with it, or you can shoot it with the standard cable stops as well. Now with all those upgrades to this package, making it a great looking option for you, the new retail on this bow is gonna come in at $619.99. So not a bad upgrade considering that just the site alone is a $150 upgrade. With all these options, they're giving you a great package if you wanna step up, keeping with that really smooth single cam bow in this adapt package. So now from here, we're gonna give you some of the shooting at the lane that we did previously with this bow because the specs are the same. So stay tuned and get all the breakdown of your arrow weights and speeds as well as noise rating on that adapt. And again, if you wanna check out the full video on the adapt, check out our video from last summer when we put out the original. So we stepped over here to the lane and we're gonna shoot a few arrows through the new adapt and kind of give you a breakdown of how this bow feels and the speeds that it's getting on all these different grain weights of arrows and as always the noise decibel reading on it as well so let's take a few shots and give you the breakdown on this bow all right so with a 400 grain arrow we've got this bow coming in at 278 which again we told you not a speed demon but it's going to be comfortable it's going to be smooth uh, it's going to put you plenty of speed plenty of kinetic energy to hunt anything in North America. So at 278 with a 400 grain arrow, we dropped it down to a 350 grain arrow. Uh, and this bow got 294 feet per second. Uh, from there up to a 450 grain arrow, we got 266. 
with a 500 grain error, we got 253 feet per second. Now, I know we normally don't go any heavier than that, but we know the hunting public guys tend to hang out with the ranch ferry some, and they are promoting that heavy FOC and heavier arrows. So we grabbed one of our super heavy arrows over here at 680 grains just to see what it was going to do. And we got this bow clocking in at 219 feet per second. So if you're that guy that's following them real closely and wanting to do something in that super heavy 600 to 700 grain error range, just know that this bow is definitely not going to push out any speeds. No bows do at those weights, uh, but it is coming in right there around that 220 mark with that heavy arrow. Now, with a 400 grain arrow, the decibel reading on that bow came in at 95.6 decibels. And with that coming in fairly quiet, uh, we expected that being a little slower bow and also being, uh, you know, a single cam, just really smooth. Uh, overall, a, a great feel. But the noise rating on this bow, um, probably one of the quietest bows we've shot. So again, from a hunting standpoint, and what these guys were trying to get out of this boat and give to the consumer, I think it's right where they wanted to be. A really nice, quiet, really good feeling, uh, well-priced point bow. Now, from that standpoint, the overall feel of this bow, uh, you can see it, that single cam just making it super smooth, coming over real easy, dropping into that back wall, really nice and easy. From there, if you put that limb stop on it, you can't advance or you know slow that down just a little bit coming off that limb stop. Uh, it has a little want to go with it, uh, you know, with 80% let off, you can feel that you're, you're holding, you know, 80%. So it's uh, not a terrible feel, uh, but you got plenty of back wall there to work off of, giving you a good clean release. And again, it's going to make this bow forgiving. It's going to make this bow very shootable uh, and just an overall great feel. Now, the other thing we mentioned earlier was the grip. Uh, they've redesigned the grip for this bow specifically for the hunting public. And, uh, and this new grip, we really like it. It's got a little nicer feel than what we've seen out of the other bear grips. Uh, fits in the palm of your hand really nice. Got a little bit of a high wrist uh, bump there to it. You know, just putting all the pressure right there where you want it to be, coming right down that lifeline on your hand. Again, it's going to make this bow shootable, going to make it forgiving. And I think that was the main point that they were working towards with this bow, was just giving you guys something that was just tunable, easy to shoot, great feel, uh, but giving it to you in a price point that every average hunter can enjoy. So with those price points from Bear, I think they've got a great winner here. And with the guys at the hunting public pushing this bow, uh, I think they're gonna enjoy shooting and enjoy hunting with it. And I'm pretty sure you will too. So if you're looking for the new hunting public adapt from Bear, be sure and give us a call at Mike's Archer and we'll get one set up for you. Either just the bow only as it comes from the factory or in a full package here exclusively at Mike's Archery. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure.